It's a question of deal or no deal for outgoing Superintendent Robert Runcie and the Broward County School Board tonight, and some big numbers are getting tossed around. The school board wants Runcy out of the job, and that's going to cost taxpayers a lot of money. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of taxpayer dollars in severance, unused sick and vacation time, and more. CBS 4's Carly Barnett is following the negotiations, and she's live in Fort Lauderdale. Carly. Lauren Elliott, after several hours of deliberation, they finally came up with a number that they feel like they are ready to propose. Now, this is part of that mutual separation agreement, they're calling it. It's been in the works for a few weeks now. And the school board says they want to abide by Runcie's contract, but they also want to do what's going to be in the best interest of the community and the school board. A proposal was reached Monday for what the school board is calling a separation of employment with Superintendent Robert Runcy. It's to the tune of $743,000. That number comes from contracts arrangement that allows Mr. Runcy's salary to be paid for the 90 days. Um, state statute allows for 20 weeks of severance pay that you have to give. There's accrued sick time, vacation time. There are medical uh, and dental benefits that are included. There are um, FRS payments. Runcie's attorney, the Broward School Board attorney, and the school board chair, Rosalind Osgood, all met to negotiate. Trying to move forward in a way that's going to be fair to Mr. Rossi, fair to the school board, and fair to the community. This stems from Runcy being indicted on a perjury charge from a grand jury proceeding on school safety technology in relation to the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas shooting. I'm willing to discuss a path to a mutual agreement of separation. About two weeks ago, Runcy offered to step down, which set the termination process in motion. The legal fees for the indictment are not included in the $743,000. That amount hasn't been determined yet. If Mr. Runcy is successful in that legal case, the school board would be responsible for those legal fees. If we pay them up front, it allows us to negotiate and minimize the cost of those fees compared to not paying them up front, not being a part of negotiating the fee with the lawyer, and this is getting some substantial bill at the end of the proceedings. Now, it is important to note the proposed total is not all going straight to Runcie. It's also going to some vendors like health care providers. The $700,000 do not go to Mr. Runcie in a lump sum. A lot of it is expenses that we have to pay for medical insurance, for dental insurance, for 407B and those kinds of things. Now, it's important to note that none of this has been finalized yet. It's going to be taken up for a vote tomorrow. The Broward School Board is having a special meeting at 9 a.m., and they will determine if this is the final number and this is the settlement that they're all going to agree on. For now, live outside of the Broward School Board, Harley Barnett, CBS 4 News.